electromagnetics, the effect to the human body. Um, it's so-called EM wave. Okay, so we've been learning electromagnetics as a college course. So some basic stuff about EM wave, the radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, it's a, it's a light, microwave, milliwave, all of them. Well, typically known as VHS, UHF, TV, signal, 3G, 4G, 5G, microwave. All the uh, weapons use microwave, infrared, sunlight, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray. They are all same EM wave. Okay, the you, I hope you know this right. As uh, I mean, um, it's very basic stuff. Who is the uh, radiating strongest EM wave? It's the sun, because the sunlight is the strongest energy. Okay, so talking about energy, each EM wave carry energy. The single you know the EM wave in quantum mechanics, it's a, a particle. Okay, carries the energy. H is a constant, C is a light speed, over lambda is a light wave. So when the wave uh, becomes shorter, energy is higher. But you have to know, this is the energy carried by single wave. Okay. Another thing you have to understand is intensity. Intensity is how many waves you send per second. Okay? You send a lot of them, like the uh, low energy particle, you can send a lot of them. Like the TV, they do that. Infrared, they, you send a lot to heat that microwave it's intensely large number okay so what happened is the um, the frequency determines the the energy carried by each single wave okay and x-ray gamma ray is very strong so what happened to the human body it's go through occasionally hit the molecule and change the DNA and every human receives some amount of gamma ray and x-ray from the space but dna has repairing mechanism so small amount will be repaired but if you are exposed by the x-ray or gamma ray large amount like a nuclear contaminated area then a lot of DNA is damaged, it's, it may cause a cancer, okay? So the lower frequency is ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is above 750 kilohertz, okay? It's uh, like, I think we're talking about 300 to, uh, I think nanometer kind of wave. Ultraviolet, the it doesn't penetrate the human body only skin effect the what's happened is incoming and reflected the balance goes is absorbed but this attenuation distance is very small it's a skin effect okay but ultraviolet is a high frequency so it may change the um the molecule structure that's why it has a risk of skin cancer what happened is dna those carbon are called covalent bonding this is a very strong bonding otherwise we disintegrate this you cannot break this one easily for example you have energy potential well and this electron is in the well and infrared hit it's excite well absorption of energy is called excitement okay in the physics it's go up here but it's never go out it's never break the uh, the bond 
and that's why infrared when you get warm sitting in front of a fire place right you're sitting your skin get warm there's no risk of cancer because energy is carried each particle carry cannot break the bond so your DNA or molecule on the body is safe at this level visual light well the it's still safe because you walk under sunshine every day there's no problem and it doesn't go into the body it's just the skin deep it's attenuate very quickly so only skin is an issue but when frequency goes up high ultraviolet then this energy level may exceed and break the bond and that's why it may cause a skin cancer but this kind of energy is necessary for life because photosynthesis what is photosynthesis it's creating a molecule how do they create a molecule they need a high energy particle from sun so creation creation of molecule for the life and the creation of cancer cell is basically same reason you create wrong cell that become cancer but all the plants are creating molecule every day under sunshine is mostly from ultraviolet and infrared doesn't contribute so if you give an infrared to the plant it's get warm up but it doesn't do photosynthesis okay photosynthesis need higher energy and ultraviolet so doctor doctor medical doctor suggests not to get too much ultraviolet because it may have a cancer risk okay microwave is one terahertz below all the way down to microwave oven and this range the wave characteristic change above 30 gigahertz the 5g the wave reflect almost 100 percent and penetration to body is skin deep just like light visual light okay so it doesn't get into the body and that's the reason 5g when you have like street corner you're hiding here 5g here it doesn't go through it's bounced back the same as human body it's bounced back so they need to place more antenna every corner to reach you if you're hiding here you need another antenna here to cover your coverage so that's a difference but when come down below 30 gigahertz the 4g as you know penetrates somewhat so if you have the room you are inside a building and antenna penetrate, penetrate the wall and reach you okay attenuation distance is much longer so even you have like a half foot wall still go through okay the lower frequency penetrate more okay so 3g penetrate into your body but it doesn't do anything because energy is simply <coughs> too low to change molecule structures okay so then do you do you feel heat have you ever uh, felt any heat from 3g or 4g signal intensity is like million times less because microwave what it does is intensity crank up the intensity it's a low energy particle but it's resonate with water molecule so the when the the wave is absorbed it doesn't break any molecule but it's vibrate the atom and the electrons vibrate that's the heat so temperature goes up and that's why you can cook food with a microwave so what's the difference between microwave and conventional 
uh, oven. Conventional oven use in infrared. So if you cook the turkey, the turkey's skin get hot, and air convection, convection, the air inside the microwave oven get hot. So the heat go from skin to inside. So you know, cooking turkey by conventional infrared takes a long time, three hours. Okay, but if you use a microwave, it penetrate frozen food. But you know, the of course skin get more microwave inside has less because it's attenuate. But still inside get the microwave uh, excitement. That means receiving energy from wave, so it's heat up. Okay, so it doesn't change any molecule. Uh, it's just heat up. But of course, it change every molecule when it's heat up too much and temperature reach, like you know, 100 degree uh, centigrade. Because what happens is the atom and electron vibrate so much it's break out. So everything break down. So when you cook something in the water, you simmer the food, everything, the molecule break down because of temperature, because temperatures is going to uh, excite electron and atoms. It start vibrating, uh, vibrating so much, it's the, all the molecule structure break, up, break down. So the protein, even, even that the protein is hard to break down by cooking because it's use a covalent uh, chemical bond but other stuff other chemical bond is all disintegrate so cooking means you increase the heat increase the intensity of a wave and increase the temperature and break down the molecule so that's cooking okay the microwave you can cook from inside but conventional infrared is it doesn't penetrate so it's skin deep it's warm up the skin and heat gradually penetrate into the uh, food okay now you're talking about TV UHF VHF this much less energy but lambda is long and you cannot block this because your TV set inside has an antenna in the house. You can receive a signal pretty well because it's penet penetrate through. The human body, yes, it's pen penetrate. The TV station, VHF, VHF, we've been doing that for many years. Does anybody got cancer for that? No, because energy level simply lambda is too low the lambda is too long that means HC lambda lambda is large the energy is too low okay so it doesn't affect any molecule in the body but it's penetrate the body the difference here is like above 30 gigahertz it doesn't penetrate it's bounce back and only little amount is is absorbed by skin just like infrared the infrared the remember when you cook the turkey it's you're cooking from the skin because infrared and the convection heat up the skin and heat it takes three hours until heat reach to the inner part of the turkey okay so that's the difference between the long wave, low energy wave. Ham radio, you see the guy who is doing ham radio on the backyard, they put like 10, 20 meter wire, that antenna. That's the wavelengths, okay? And that's penetrate everything. It's very low frequency. The fre low frequency penetrate the things. When it's get high frequency, like 30 gigahertz above, those microwave it doesn't penetrate the body and it doesn't have enough energy to change the molecule the visual light 
you you know visual light doesn't penetrate anything right if you have like the something object is get shadow because it's bounce back and doesn't penetrate anything okay so higher frequency doesn't penetrate and ultraviolet light goes skin deep and has enough energy to break the covalent bond and that's increase the risk of cancer and just like plants create the uh, the food molecules the starch those are carbon bonding molecule that they need higher energy radiation so making a food and getting cancer is basically the same thing you just create the wrong cell become cancer okay right cell become food Okay, so beyond that, it's become very high energy. So it goes through everything. The energy is just too strong, and and destroy some of chemical bonding. Okay, so that's why you cannot have too much X-ray. But this low energy, it doesn't matter how much you get. Okay. The 3G, it's getting into the body, but it's energy, the wave energy is too low to make any change in the body. 5G doesn't even get into the body, it's bounced back, and penetration is skin deep. Okay? I hope you have a, a correct scientific understanding of this uh, EM radiation. and. If you like, please check out the video and subscribe.